You're not going to believe this. After a massive post-election ratings dip, Comcast has just announced plans to spin off MSNBC, a move that's sending shockwaves through media circles. Meanwhile, the view is under fire for its increasingly divisive rhetoric. Facing heavy backlash from both viewers and critics, today we're covering Bill O'Reilly's bold comments as he went on to Cuomo's show and what he revealed about the view's future is beyond shocking. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this. We'll get photo ops, which they did. But Comcast said, you two, we're going to have to try to mend some uh, cliche fences, and you two are going to go in there and you're going to try to tamp it down. Because Comcast knew the next day they were going to announce that MSNBC is vapor. That is a huge meteor story. Why is Enormous. it vapor? Just because they're there spinning no it off more. and putting them in the... Well, they're spinning off a bunch There's of no brands. There's no spinoff. There is. It's a no. spinoff company. There's no spinoff. That, see, you buy the propaganda, Cuomo. Oh, okay. See what I mean about I'm smart just saying people? what's being reported. All right. But what, how do, what do you know? Yeah, I know. But why would you believe what's being reported? You want the real story? Here yes, it comes. Please. So they're uncoupling their word, Comcast, MSNBC from NBC News. That means MSNBC has no resources at all. None. They're not going to be able to pay these people millions of dollars, Rachel Maddow, whatever she's making. NBC News is saying, we don't want you around. Bill might be onto something when he suggests that NBC News isn't thrilled about keeping MSNBC around. Let's be real, when you compare their numbers to Fox News, it's not even a competition. For instance, for November 2024, Fox reported a month-to-month 20% gain, and when compared to November of last year, it saw gains of 84%. MSNBC, on the other hand, saw a 22% drop compared to last month, and a year-to-year was 5% down, but Bill is wrong when he says that they won't be able to pay Rachel's salary especially since she inked a new multi-million dollar deal for the next few years. If you couple this with Mark Lazarus, who is leading the new spin-off company, was reporting compared to well-funded startup, I think this whole fiasco came after MSNBC's poor and highly partisan coverage of the election. They went all in on pushing narratives that didn't exactly pan out, and who could forget their endless meltdowns on election night, blaming the loss of different groups and even Joe Biden himself. People notice such things and they want insightful analysis, not wishful thinking passed off as news. O'Reilly went on to explain why this might have played a major role in the decision to separate these entities from each other. Because NBC News' numbers, uh, Lester Holt and the Today Show, are catastrophe because half the country equates NBC News with MSNBC and they won't watch. So NBC is desperately trying to save the mothership of information mm. and they have to throw MSNBC overboard. They're not putting anything into MSNBC. They want to sell it. So where's Georgie Soros now? Georgie's buying radio stations. You can get MSNBC for nothing. They'll give it to you. They don't want any more of this. Why? Because it's hateful. Not because it's so far left. The whole NBC Comcast hierarchy is far left. But it's hateful. They hate Trump. They hate people who vote for Trump. Everybody knows that. That's absolutely correct. And it all started to make sense when you look at the bigger picture. Back in May of this year, the New York Times dropped an article that didn't get much attention, but it probably should have. Insiders allegedly spilled the tea, claiming that MSNBC's far-left rhetoric is having unintended consequences for its parent company. Those insiders also revealed that, quote, local NBC stations between the coasts have demanded again and again that executives in New York do more to preserve NBC's nonpartisan brand least MSNBC's blue state bent alienate their red state viewers. Again, this is all alleged and the article reveals no names, but seeing the recent developments, it does make sense. Think about it. If MSNBC's reputation takes a nosedive in middle America, it's not just bad optics, it's bad business. When you consider these behind-the-scenes rumblings, O'Reilly's claim does not sound so far-fetched. MSNBC's current trajectory could be more trouble than it's worth for the mother company. Bill also had some comments about The View and saying it's shocking is, I would say, an understatement. You know what's next? Next, The View. ABC News is going to have to cut ties with The View. And you saw that today or yesterday when Sonny Hostin had to read a legal statement in the middle of a segment. The lawyers got in her, get Whoopi Goldberg's ear, and it said, we're bringing a statement in on a teleprompter. She reads it. So it is over 
for these far left networks. Done. Never coming back. Dracula's stake in the heart. All right, let's pause a bit because saying ABC is going to drop the view is daydreaming and every few months we see such statements or rumors. But let's be real, whether you love it or hate it, The View is here to stay. As long as it continues to generate massive viewership, for instance, the show reportedly holds the number one spot for total viewers among daytime broadcast talk shows and news programs for the fifth straight season, it's a ratings machine because it knows how to spark controversy on just about anything. Even I wait for it to see the ridiculous things the panel has to say so I can have a good laugh. It's my favorite comedy on TV. I've noticed, by the way, you still haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, so what are you waiting for? Now, regarding the legal notes, it's ABC's way of protecting themselves when the hosts go off the rails with some questionable statements. You see, the show thrives on controversy, but with what comes in a legal minefield, when Whoopi, Joy, or Sonny makes a completely off-base claim, it's the producers who have to scramble to issue a correction before lawsuits start flying. And over the last few weeks, there's been an endless number of them, so we've prepared a small compilation of the funniest ones. Uh, talking about... RFK and some of the things he believes. So he falsely linked to autism. He called the virus the deadliest vaccine ever made. And go look, at, go look at his role in measles in Samoa. Oh, so well, that's your no. new Secretary of Health, America. I have a legal note. Take oh, go for ahead. Go ahead. Kennedy has insisted <laughs> he is not anti and that Americans should make informed choices for themselves and their families. In response to the measles outbreak in Samoa, Kennedy said he bears no responsibility for the outcome. About Matt Gates, <laughs> listen, um, it's not only you know what's on the ethics report that may or may not come out. I think what's what's already in public knowledge, right? What the New York Times published the day before, where they had a chart, well, that's uh, a horrible. graph of all of the Venmo yeah. payments. This wasn't just one instance. I have a legal note. <laughs> you want to take this one, Joy, or are you Matt Gates no, <laughs> has long denied all allegations and has not been charged with any crime. Both Trump and Pam Bondi have denied allegations of a quid pro quo that his past donation played any role in her office's decision to not take legal action against Trump University when she was, of course, the Attorney General of Florida. Imagine the headache for ABC's legal team. Every episode's like playing whack-a-mole with misinformation, and given the personalities involved, it is no surprise they have to stay on high alert. I think they're doing it as a parody at this point, though, where they go on their regular propaganda on the most recent reason on why we should all hate Trump, only to come out with a legal note after the commercial break and read it in some satire. It's this weird balancing act between outrage and damage control. The hosts get to fan the flames of controversy, keeping the show in the headlines while ABC's legal notes act as the fire extinguisher, ensuring no one sues their pants off. But I'd love to know your thoughts here, so let's get the conversation rolling in the comments down below. By the way, if you want your friends to stay in the loop, please share the video with them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.